It's Professor Ari Stats here with your Lexington Real Estate Market Update. In this episode, I'll focus on how the overall market performed in 2016. An analysis of the Lexington real estate market has one clear finding, not enough inventory. Demand was very strong and multiple offers were common in some price ranges, resulting in an average sale price to list price ratio of 99%. After a flattening of the average sale price in 2015, we saw the average sale price rise 5.6% in 2016. With the economy remaining strong and consumer confidence continuing to grow, demand in the town is likely to remain strong. Although political uncertainty and the projected increase in the mortgage interest rate in 2017 may dampen price appreciation. Turning now to the 10-year market trends. Housing inventory is a monthly snapshot of the number of homes available to buy. The bottom of the market was in 2009, when the number of homes available for sale were at historic highs. The available inventory dropped to the lowest level seen in a decade in 2013, and this trend has continued into 2016. With such low inventory, this raises a key question. Is this caused by low supply, fewer sellers in the market, or high demand, an increased number of buyers wanting to buy a home in Lexington. So let's look at the number of homes sold. The total number of homes sold per year has been relatively static since the Lexington housing market recovered from the downturn in 2008-9. Since 2012, the number of homes sold has been approximately 360 to 360 per year. With this relatively static supply, it is increased demand. Highly rated schools, convenient to Boston, and great community dynamics that is the reason for the low inventory levels we are seeing in today's housing market. One of the strongest indicators of demand is the ratio of the sale price to the list price. A ratio of over 100% means that there was competition, resulting in buyers paying more than the list price. After after dropping to an average of 93% in 2009, this ratio increased to 100% in 2013, and this has continued into 2016. For homes that are priced correctly, this drives multiple offers, with the final sale price often exceeding the asking price. So what effect is this having on home prices? High demand leads to appreciating prices. The average home price in Lexington is at an all-time high. Home prices are rising in almost all towns in eastern Massachusetts. In the in-demand towns, prices started to rise immediately after the lows of 2009. Whereas in towns with less demand, we saw prices remain flat and only begin to rise in 2013. In Lexington, after rising steadily since the downturn in 2009, the average home price peaked in 2014 remaining flat in 2015 due to changes in the price distribution. 2016 saw a return to rising prices, with a 5.6% increase in the average home price to an all-time high of over $1.2 million. So that's how the overall real estate market performed in 2016. In future episodes, I will focus on new construction, the luxury market, and give my predictions for 2017. If you found this interesting and you want more details, please check out our website and download the Lexington Market Review 2016 ebook. Thanks for watching and check back regularly for further market updates. Hi, it's Marcus Collins here. Thanks for watching this episode of Market Updates with Professor Ari Stats on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with future episodes, click subscribe below me or click on this list to see lots of other great videos. Thanks for watching.